Hi you guys, happy December 11th, day 11 of Vlogmas. Wow, it's been such a fun journey so far, I hope you agree. Um, I literally feel like Santa right now. I have a sack of presents, I'm wearing red, and I'm just so jolly. <laughs> I'm so in the Christmas spirit. Um, but I'm about to schlep all of this stuff. I love these Ikea bags because you can carry so much. Um, I'm about to run to the post office. I have a lot to mail. First couple giveaways are going out to you guys, so that's really exciting. Except I can't find my day one winner. So if you're out there, pretty busy girl, hit me up. Email me your mailing address. Because <laughs> um, if I can't find a winner after like 48 hours, I'm gonna have to like pick another one, sadly, because these giveaways are like coming fast and furious now. So I'm mailing a couple of those out. I have all my goodies from my Patreon people. I have um, a giveaway for them. I have Amazon returns. I have Christmas presents. I just have a lot. So I figured I'd just check in before I go run all these errands. Mickey, what you got, boy? just so cute. I can't get over like how charming this little thing is. Um, okay. So I'm off to run that errand and I'm going to drop off my Salvation Army gifts that you guys helped me get yesterday. That was so much fun. And then when I come back, sorry the laundry is running and it's so loud. It's so loud. <laughs> but I'm very happy that I have in unit washer and dryer. So thanks for that. Um, but anyway, when I come back from my errands, I have some things to show you around here and you know, whatever. Day 11 of Vlogmas. I have another giveaway, so lots going on as always. I don't know why, how I lucked out with the sweetest dogs. I just thought it'd be cute to put this little bow on them for a picture. And they just came over and sat like at the attention to wait to get their bow on. So, like, I know they don't want to have a bow. But they're just like, oh, you want to do something to us? Okay, we'll sit here. You are so good. I'm going to put a little bow on you, too. Are you such good doggies? Lo, are you a good girl? <laughs> they would just sit here all night if I made them. <laughs> Why are you so good? You're such little angels. Do you have anything to say about this? Oh, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that dinner might be next. Is that what's up? Is it dinner time? <laughs> Are you hungry? <laughs> You're my little present. You're a present under the tree. You're the only, why do you think tree is a word you know? Oh, I know why. <laughs> it's one letter short of another word you know. Is that right, Lo? You like the Christmas tree? <laughs> That's so mean. Now I have to give her a treat. Oh, I said it. I said it. All right. You deserve it. Let's do it. Okay, gentle, gentle. Good girl. Gentle, you want it? I feel like I've been running nonstop since de December 1st, and I'm just tired, and it's dinner time, and I don't wanna cook, so. Whoops, it's not the healthiest, but it is gluten-free because I'm really, like, really trying to be off of gluten because my knee pain is back in a big, bad way. So I'll show you what we wind up having for dinner. I mean, box pizza is not the healthiest, obviously, but I'm gonna try to make a salad on the side. Dinner's ready. Even though this is just like a little side salad, I love to have my salads out of a huge, deep bowl. So I just feel like you can like rummage around in your salad without slopping it all over the place. So I'm kind of slim on salad pickings, but I've got spinach, cucumber, and I always forget about raw asparagus in salads, so I thought that was kind of yummy to add. And then my avocado wasn't ripe yet, so I have cashews for a little healthy fat in there. And that's just my little side salad. And then the pizza turned out pretty yummy. I like sriracha on my pizza. Nate likes red. I was gonna say red hot chili peppers. <laughs> red pepper. Crushed red pepper, pepper flakes. Did you see what just happened? He just spilled salad dressing. Yep. It's a wild night in an hour at household. <laughs> And this is just sparkling water, but I like to have it out of like an alcohol glass to feel fancy. Cheers, honey. Cheers. This is how you properly sriracha a pizza. Just the right amount of spiciness in each bite. We the like to play Jeopardy Jeff during dinner on Alexa sometimes. It's fun. I'm not retiring. Initial initials. 
In 2002, Vince McMahon's wrestling organization changed its initials from his three-letter acronym to WWE. What, what is WWF? Wow. <laughs> Excellent. I know my wrestling. The next category is... <laughs> I did not expect that. So kind of a point of today's vlog that I had in mind was I wanted to show you my Christmas mug collection. Those of you who know me know I'm a mug, like, addict. It's probably one of my top favorite things to collect. I just love mugs. I think they're so cozy. I love having warm drinks and it's just, I don't know, I love them. I love different designs and Christmas is no exception. So these are my Christmas mugs. I brought them in here to show you. You guys saw in a vlog when I got this, and I think he is the most perfect little Santa mug. I love him. I love his little pink cheeks, and I love just like the way they styled his face. He's the best Santa mug I've seen, and I've seen some at Target that aren't as cute, and just around. I saw one at like, what's it called? Not Pier 1. Anyway, this one's from Michaels, and it was like a dollar, <laughs> and it's become one of my top favorite mugs. I think he is just so cute. Look at his eyelashes. I love it. So that's a favorite. This is another huge favorite. This one's from Disneyland. And I love this retro Mickey and Minnie illustration with the antlers and the reindeer and the sleigh of toys and like the muted kind of, is this focusing? Sorry. <laughs> but I love the muted tones, like a vintage photograph or illustration. I just think it's so pretty. And then this side has a really cool typography and it says good tidings. I love the colors of red and green that they chose. This whole thing is just so retro and cute. And it's a good shape. Like I love this kind of bowl shape because if you're having hot chocolate, that's a lot of real estate for marshmallows. So let's just be real. <laughs> but you could also have like cereal or ice cream or it's just like a nice shape, you know? And it's cozy to like hold it in your hands. So I really love this. This is from Disneyland this year. Then this one's from Target. And I thought this was just so cute. I love the little illustrations, mostly. I love the little pink truck right there. So cute. But there's just little pops of pink throughout this illustration, like on the roof. And that kind of drew my eye to it. But I love little houses and little wintry scenes and little like village scenes. My grandma used to have like a few paintings on the wall. I'll have to see if I can figure out what artists they were. But they were kind of like this, but a little more fine art, but they were like illustrations of a village in the winter and they were just so, I just have such cozy feelings about them. And as a kid, I was like, it's almost like a Where's Waldo, just looking at all the little details. So I love this mug. And again, it's like a nice size and it has this little thing here. I don't know what it's for, but I like it because it's like a thumb hook. <laughs> And I mean, it probably won't surprise you that I take these little things into account. And I just like that. It's like, helps you get a nice hold on your coffee. This one is from Sephora and you can get this with your points. And it's like that tin covered in ceramic. I don't know what you call it, but I think of it as like a camping mug. And I just, I love this style of mug. It's so cozy. It's like, you want to be around the fireplace with it. And it has this little illustration of lips. I mean, the illustration is like, okay. But what I love is just the style, really. And then it says Sephora, and it has these little, like, twinkles on it, and it's just so cozy. And these were, like I said, you can get these with your points at Sephora, so. Love that. I think it's called enamel. Is that what you call it? Anyway, very cute. These two are from Disneyland, I want to say, like, two years ago. And what I love about these is they have a little cookie pocket. <laughs> so you can stash your cookies, or, like, a snack, or whatever you want in here and then you fill your drink to here. So it's not as huge of a mug as it looks like. It's actually a nice, you know, like sometimes you don't want too big of a mug because then your drink gets cold. So it's actually a good size for keeping your drink warm and then you can just tuck some little cookies and it's so cute. So this is the Mickey version. It has little holiday illustrations. And Mickey's on it. Adorable. So I liked these because they're like his and hers kind of with this is the Minnie Mouse one, has illustrations, and she's so cute. And I also like these square handles, just find those delightful. Nice, you get like a nice grip on it, you can like fit your whole hand nicely in it. <laughs> Do you guys think I'm ridiculous right now? This is like the most thorough mug review. But uh, if you're like me, I think you'll agree these are important details. All right, these two are so cute. 
I'm really into like the, what would you call it, like a figural mug, you know, like my Santa, he's my favorite, and then these two are just so adorable. And now I'm blanking on where they're from. Does it say, I hope? Pottery Barn, whew, oh my gosh, that was tough. So this little reindeer, to tell you the truth, I couldn't tell if he was creepy or cute. I could not make up my mind, but they were on an awesome sale when I got them. I think it was like two for six. It was like really good deal. And I knew I wanted this little snowman because look at him. I mean, isn't he just the most precious little snowman you ever did see with his little pink cheeks and his little tiny nose? Sorry, I know this isn't focusing that well. I just adore him. And he's got a little cane. Oh, he's so cute. This is a very small mug. It doesn't hold much, but again, sometimes I like that because I don't want my drink to get cold. And I was just gonna get him, but then I was like, well, for the, the sale, I might as well get both. They had a Santa as well, but it just was nowhere near as cute as my other one. So I was like, I don't know if I want that. I don't know if it's creepy. And now that I have it, I almost think it's like my favorite because it is definitely creepy. <laughs> it's so creepy. But it's also just so sweet and it's very retro kitsch. And I very much enjoy retro kitsch. So this is like a good size mug, it's pretty big. And I don't know, I just love it. I love his little ears and his little antlers and his little face, his little mouth, he's so cute. So these are my Christmas bugs. And I just felt like Vlogmas could not go any further until you knew what was going on with the Christmas bugs. And then I wanted to share some of my favorite Christmas beverages or just, you know, winter time, um, cozy, like warm beverages. So first of all, whoa, obviously we're talking hot chocolate here. And I personally like to save on the calories in the hot chocolate so that I can splurge on some add-ons. So I get this one, this like fat-free one. It's only 20 calories per envelope. And I know, it's not like quality hot chocolate. It's kind of gross, actually. The ingredients are probably pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> but for a once in a while treat, and the fact that it's only 20 calories if you mix it with water, I feel like that's worth it so that I can then indulge because I like to just pile on the add-ins. Like, I think it's very cute to put a candy cane in your hot cocoa and you can like stir with it and it makes it kind of like a mint mocha. So good and just so festive and cute. And I, another great idea for a holiday party, by the way, is like a hot chocolate bar. And I've done that before where you have all the toppings laid out and candy canes are a really good one. Then obviously you have to have marshmallows on top. These are really cute because they're holiday mallows. So they're green Christmas trees and red stars and they taste just like normal marshmallows. But I thought they were really cute and festive on top of a hot cocoa but these are my favorite. <laughs> and to talk about guilty pleasures, like what even are these? <laughs> but these are those little like hard marshmallows that kind of come in the pack. But I found this shaker of them at Target and it's been, it's been a delight, honestly. So these aren't that like high calorie either. You can add two tablespoons, 20 calories. You know, not that you should necessarily be counting every calorie in your indulgent hot chocolate. I'm just telling you the, the stats. But I just think these are really like satisfying because if you eat them before they get too soaked with the hot cocoa, they're kind of crunchy and chewy. I don't know. Am I going into way too much detail right now? I feel like I am. Okay, and then lastly, these are my three favorite holiday teas. This one I adore. I will drink it all year long. I think it's so good. Is the name sugar cookie misleading? Yes, yes it is. Because <laughs> obviously it does not taste like a sugar cookie. It's a zero calorie tea. And I'm honestly not sure what flavors are even in here that create the illusion of sugar cookie, but I just find it really tasty and cozy and it is a little bit sweet. And I like to add a splash of milk. I think that creates the sugar cookie illusion. Something about just even the tiniest splash of milk makes it like creamy and frothy and cozier and yummier and more indulgent. And I think it does taste like a nice little treat. Like obviously it's not like biting into a sugar cookie, but it's reminiscent of sugar cookie. And then there's this one I got, which is peppermint bark. And this one's so good because I was expecting it just to be minty. For some reason, I didn't really think I would taste the chocolate, but it does taste chocolatey. And again, it's not like eating an actual piece of peppermint bark, but it definitely reminds you of those flavors and it does have the chocolatey notes and the minty notes, and that one's really good. And then lastly, I got this and I was very dubious because like, 
you know, that's a bold claim for a tea to make, but it actually somehow kind of works. Like again, no, it definitely doesn't taste like eggnog, but it does have like the seasonings and like the feel of eggnog. And this is another one I always add like a splash of milk. It just makes such, it just it elevates your tea experience, I feel like. Especially with these like sweet teas where you kind of want to feel like you're having a little treat, like a little latte. I always just throw in a splash of milk and this is really good. And now the time has come to pick today's giveaway. Honestly, my favorite part of this whole experience is just getting to feel like Santa Claus. <laughs> and spoil you a little bit because Lord knows you guys deserve it. You are the best. So I just, I went through and organized this a little bit and I cannot believe how many gifts, like how did I fit 10 more gifts than this? I don't, I honestly don't even know. <laughs> Seems like we still have a lot left, which makes me happy because I am truly savoring this experience with you guys. And it's just like our little visual advent calendar, I feel like. So it's going to be kind of weird when this starts to really dwindle to like one, two, four, five bags. So I'm glad that there's still a lot left for now. I don't know why I don't want Vlogmas to end, you guys, even though I'm exhausted. <laughs> okay, so let's pick a bag for today. You will get this beautiful pink polka dot bag. And inside, what do we have? What do we have? Okay. Changed out the cards. We're onto a new batch. And I just thought these were really cute and so me with the pink Christmas tree and the little reindeer. I love that. So you will get this little card from me to you. And you will get a collagen face mask. Really good for plumping your skin, getting rid of any fine lines, and just honestly just treating yourself because the holidays are so hectic. And lastly, what is it? What is it? Ulta! Is this the first one we've had of these? I think it is. Sorry, my camera's not focusing too well. Okay, Ulta, treat yourself. Tis the season, it has these little pink makeup brushes. I think that's so cute. So this is $10 for you to spend at Ulta. Get whatever your heart desires and just a little gift from me to you. So if you read the description box below this video, I will put the rules for the giveaway. It's pretty simple and straightforward. And then you just need to comment below once you've done everything. So I know you're in and you can win this goodness. It's so much fun sending these out every single day. I really do get to feel like I'm just spreading holiday joy and merriment. So I hope you guys are enjoying this and good luck and enjoy getting a little bit spoiled this holiday season. We're going to end the night with a little bit of relaxation, take a little trip to the hot tub. And that's really a perk of living in LA. I have to say it's like cold enough to want to be in the hot tub, but not like you won't get icicles when you get out. I wonder how cold it is. How cold do you think it is? Mm, 60. Alexa. 55, maybe. What temperature is it? Right now, it's 57 degrees. Tonight, Ooh. expect a low of 47 degrees. Chilly, that sounds cozy though. So we're gonna go relax and get, what he's getting all suited up. <laughs> I have my button down shirt in my <laughs> He's robe. got his Hawaiian shirt on for the occasion. And we both have our swimsuits under our robes because it's gonna be chilly walking down there. So, time to go de-stress. <laughs> he always thinks it's too hot at first. Yes. And I always think it gets cold really fast. Yeah, my phone. He didn't bring your camera? I didn't want to rest my camera on the hot tub, this so I'm using phone. Nate's phone. <laughs> Come here. I will. When? <laughs> Such a chicken. You're lucky I'm not filming this scene. Yeah. So peaceful. So nice sound. Hot tongue kisses. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did she tell you that we didn't have hot water for couple days they were fixing the broiler boiler yeah. whatever and I took an exhilarating cold shower <laughs> <laughs> I was proud of you babe yeah but it was a good reminder to be grateful for hot water yeah yeah I never really think much of it I take it for granted yeah but... we take it for granted you just turn on the sink and there it is mm-hmm mm -hmm. oh thank you this is just water you gotta hydrate bye thanks for watching Good night.